Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. I'm so glad you could join me today. We'll be making this candy colored Valentine card. I just love the background of this card. It reminds me of the conversation hearts and it's just so colorful and cute. I'll be using the Spellbinders Binds of Passion, the Sizzix Loved Eyes, and the Spellbinders Fancy Scallop Edge Circles. So we're starting with a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'll add a yellow mat that's four by five and a quarter inches and this hearts mat that's three and three quarters by five. Get that all adhered down, that'd be our card base. Then from the outline of that vine die, I have the light purple and then this darker purple with the scroll work. And as you can see, I'm using my paper piercer here to get these little details out of this heart. I recently posted another YouTube video using red, black, and white colors and this same, the, some of these same dyes. So the darker will go over the light and then with the love dye I've cut out the outline of the dark purple and the scripty word of the white and that will go there. For the inside sentiment I will be stacking these fancy edge circles and the stamp says all you need is love and that will go on the inside of our card. Okay so here I will use my silicone mat. I just picked this up at a big box store in the kitchen section and the great thing about any silicone mat, it doesn't have to be a craft mat, this is for a microwave, um, but none of your glue will stick to this. So it makes a really nice, neat work surface for whenever you're dealing with adhesives, whether it's your tape runner or liquid glue. I really advise that you go out and find some kind of silicone mat for all your gluing needs and you will be so happy you did. So I'll get my heart all put together here. And it's going to go right in the center of my card. I dab on a, all these little details here. And to add a little bit of dimension, I will be using some foam tape on the back of this heart. I've already got that done to save a little time here. So I will just peel off the backing from that foam tape and get that adhered down at the center of my card. And this foam tape is not very heavy. So when you adhere it to your card for just a little bit of dimension, it's not going to affect going through the mail. In fact, this works very well when it gets shipped out through the mail. Okay, I'll get this love adhered to the front of my card and move on to the inside. So simple, but so cute. So there's a little candy colored Valentine card. You can see how quickly this goes together inside and outside. So you should give it a try. Now I've got this all adhered together and I'll just glue that right into the inside of my card. And it'll be ready to go. Okay, pretty easy. Now our card is finished. I'll give you a close-up look on the outside, the inside sentiment, my stamp on the back, and of course I like to finish my envelopes with a little detail on the outside, on the back flap, and with a lined inside to coordinate with my card. So here's some close-up looks on the, of the card and the envelope and I wanted to share that I do have other how-to videos for lining your envelopes on my YouTube channel so go check those out. Uh, it's a video tutorial showing you how to line your envelopes without dies or special measurements. I hope you enjoyed this video today and that you will come back and see me real soon. Happy crafting everyone!